Our today's topic is ultra structure and nuclear cytology during late embryo development in plants. The process of development of mature embryo from diploid zygote is called embryogenesis. In the majority of angiosperm plants, the first division of the zygote is transverse. As a result of this, two cell pro embryo is formed. The larger basal cell at the micropylar end is called suspensor cell, and the smaller one away from it termed as terminal cell or embryo cell. The embryo cell undergoes two vertical divisions and one transverse division to form quadrant and then octant stage. A typical dicotyledonous embryo consists of an embryonal axis and two cotyledons. Above the cotyledonous level, embryonal axis is called epicotyle, which form shoot, and below cotyledonous level, embryonal axis is called hypocotyle, which forms radical, as we have already discussed uh, this part in embryo structure. Then, root tip is covered with root cap, uh, also known as cliptra. Next is ultrastructure. Plant embryogenesis can be divided into three general phases in which uh, distinct developmental and uh, physiological events occur. First phase is post fertilization pro embryo phase, second is globular heart transition phase, and the third is organ expansion and maturation phase. The first division of zygote, as I already told you, occurs in the transverse or, uh, or oblique direction, resulting in the formation of two unequal cells. The basal cell is larger than the terminal cell and terminal cell will contribute to the formation of the embryo proper and the basal cell will form the suspensor. I can see here two-celled pro-embryo stays. So structure of two-celled pro-embryo stays. Terminal cell uh, nucleus becomes elongated and occupies a large part of the cell. Then nucleus at this stage has electron dense nucleolus which contains several small vacuoles. At the micropylar end, this end, toward the micropylar end, the basal suspensor cell extensive uh, from the basal uh, suspensor cell, extensive wall in growths appear along the cytoplasmic face uh, of the cell wall. Short stands of rough endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria are also observed adjacent to these, uh, these uh, ingrowths. Mitochondria are uh, numerous. Here you can see terminal cell and the basal cell. Right? This is terminal cell and here basal cell. Mitochondria are numerous, but they contain relatively very few cisterni and electron translucent area. These are mitochondria. Then when the embryo proper reach the early globular stage of the development, the basal cell undergoes further differentiation and consists of four or six cells. I can see here early globular embryo and suspensor cell. Here plasmodesmata occur uh, in the common wall between the suspensor and the embryo cells, right? There are several electron dense inclusions in the space between the plasmodesmata and cell wall. The cytoplasm of the suspensor cell. This is suspensor cell. So, cytoplasm of the suspensor cell contains mitochondria. You can see here in this diagram, these are mitochondria. Then, endoplasmic reticulum. Then, uh, ribosomes. These are ribosomes. Lipid bodies, you can see here, these are lipid bodies, small protein bodies, and vacuoles. Then, well developed wall in growth are present along the walls of the suspensor at the micropilot end at late globular stage. You can see here these suspensor cell bases, and these are wall in growths, right. So, cytoplasm here contains separate organelles like rough endoplasmic reticulum. You can see here rough endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum is poorly developed and giving a swollen appearance 
of uh, uh, means various degree. Some of the vacuoles at this stage contain electron dense deposits. Mitochondria are numerous. These are mitochondria. Mitochondria are numerous and contain few short sister name. Uh, sorry, contain few short cristae. A few dictyosomes and small protein bodies are seen in the cytoplasm. So numerous lipid bodies, these are lipid bodies, are present and uh, they are large and electron dense. So in this diagram, uh, in this figure, you can see uh, numerous small or large vacuoles. These are vacuoles, then mitochondria, rough endoplasmic reticulum, lipid bodies, these are lipid bodies, and ribosomes. Late globular embryo states. Here, the suspensor cell can continue to enlarge. You can see here, this is endosperm, embryo, and here, wall engrows. Because at this stage, suspensor cell continue to enlarge and most small vacuoles appeared within the cell and uh, a well developed wall in growth were present along the walls of the embryo sac near the integumentary tapetum. In this uh, figure, you can see this is these are wall in growth and this, this is integumentary tapetum cells. So, below the cotyledons uh, are initiated, uh, sorry, before the cotyledons are initiated a cuticle forms at this stage over the surface of the globular embryo. But this cuticle is absent around the suspensor. In this stage, the endosperm develops, as I already told you, here this is endosperm, develops rapidly and embryo cell uh, have dense cytoplasm and abundant organelles. Then at late hurt embryo stage, you can see here, Hurt embryostes, this is embryo, suspensor cell, endosperm. At this stage, the suspensor cell are highly vacuolated and uh, protruded beyond the inner integument. It continues to grow toward the micropyle, toward this side, right? And, but it never grow beyond the outer integument of the seed coat. During the heart stage of embryogenesis, the suspensor becomes large and uh, uh, less electron dense. Then vesicle-like structures also appear in the nuclei of the suspensor cell. The uh, uh, other organelles uh, uh, are not clearly defined at this stage. Ultrastructurally, the suspensor basal cell in some species, uh, here wall in growth, have been observed in cells presumed to have a role in absorption and translocation of metabolites from maternal tissues to the embryo proper. Mitochondria found near these encroats uh, may play a role in energy dependent uh, transport of nutrients. The development of uh, development and cytology of the suspensor in some plants like trifolium concluded that basal cell is an active uh, transfer cell absorbing nutrients from the maternal tissue metabolizing and transporting them through the suspensor cell to the embryo proper in early stage of the embryogenesis. Then later it degenerate. I can see here no suspensor is there. So later it degenerates at the late hurt stage of embryogenesis and is not present in the mature embryo. I can see here. So here degenerating suspensor cells showing vacuoles and electron uh, translucent areas and here the cotyledons uh, embryo stays where suspensor is absent. Next is nuclear cytology. Nuclear cytology involves the study of nuclear events and uh, uh, structure uh, as uh, plant embryo dwell. It includes processes like nuclear division, maybe mitosis or meiosis, changes in nuclear organization and regulation of gene expression. Key stages include zygote formation, early embryonic divisions and differentiation of embryonic 
tissues. You can see here from this diagram, first is zygote. So zygote formation, you know, fusion of male and female gametes of the zygote. Then nuclear divisions, mitosis and meiosis. So here you can see this divides to form two cells, terminal cell and basal cells. Then differentiation of embryonic tissues means formation of protoderm, ground meristem and procambium, then gene expression regulation, maturation and seed development, germination, etc. So first zygote means the fertilized egg that result from the joining, joining of male and female cells. Then two cells uh, stays here embryo possesses two cells, terminal and basal cell. Then uh, two cells embryo and suspense it means eight cells embryo stays. Embryo uh, progress to the eight cell stays. Then globular stays. Globular where the embryo uh, progresses to the globular stays. You can see here globular stays. This is so. This is historium, right? So embryo suspense. This is historium. This is globular stays. From after globular stays, then heart shaped. Here embryo progresses to the heart shaped uh, stays. Then torpedo. Uh, then means embryo progresses to the torpedo stays, and ultimately embryo progresses to the mature stays. This is um, mature stays. Generally, diploid zygote divides into uh, two form, two cells. Proembryo first, the, from two cells stays up to differentiation of organs, embryo is called proembryo. First, mitotic vision of the zygote is transverse, separating the fertilized egg into large basal cell and then suspensor cell, uh, then suspensor cell, right? And uh, the, means close to the micropyle and a small terminal cell or embryo uh, cells that project into embryo sac. Then terminal cell eventually give rise most of the embryo. Basal cell continues to divide transversely producing a thread-like structure called suspensor uh, which anchors the embryo to its parent tissues. Means it pushes the developing embryo into the endosperm so as to absorb nutrients from it. Terminal cell divides several times and to form spherical proembryo attached to the suspensor and the first cell of the suspensor toward the micropylar and becomes swollen and function as historium. As I already told you, this is historium. Last cell of the suspensor at the end adjacent to the embryo is known as uh, hypophysis, this cell. Then hypophy hypophysis uh, later give rise to the radical and the root cap and cotyledons begin to form as uh, uh, means bumps on the proembryo stays give the heart shaped appearance to the embryo then torpedo stays and ultimately mature embryo thanks for watching uh, if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe for more thank you